I have met many corporate leaders who are absolutely convinced that they have to remain in their specific career field or industry in order to keep advancing professionally or even monetarily. From their perspective, if they moved into a new career field or a new industry, it would mean that they'd have to take some kind of massive pay cut just to get their foot in the door. It's simply not true. And knowing why it's not true is going to open up for you thousands of more career opportunities that are gonna be immediately available to you and show you that you can keep earning, increasing your earnings in new and exciting career roles, and you're not just stuck in your industry. Keep watching and I will show you how to leverage your existing leadership skills to jump into new industries without sacrificing your earnings. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp and this is Motivationeer Christian Coaching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can be reminded every time I post a new video, which I do two times per week. Please also consider becoming a member at motivationear.com. Your membership really supports this channel. Thank you. One of the ways I create content for my membership portal on my website at motivationear.com is by holding two-hour Saturday morning executive coaching sessions. They're free. I usually have about 100 on average join each Saturday from all over the world. I record, edit, and then upload them to my membership site. Um, it's really great, rich content. Please consider becoming a member. You'll have access to all of those sessions as well. I've done many, and I'm going to be doing many, many more. In a recent one, that a session that I called Burning the Deadwood, I talked about a story where an actor in Hollywood was talking with a famous Hollywood director about other actors that seemed to cling on to Holly, their Hollywood career too long. The director shared about how those actors desperately hold on to the spotlight when the light is starting to shine on other actors. They just refuse to let go. And what happens is, they sink into a state of despair because Hollywood wants to let go of them. This is an example of a limiting belief that I've encountered with some of the people that I work with in my executive coaching practice. And no, I'm not talking about people who refuse to let go of the spotlight. I'm talking about business leaders who are convinced that they have to keep their career going in that same industry because they don't have any other options. And they believe, as I mentioned, if they want to change fields, they're gonna to have to take a massive salary cut to get there. Now, the tricky part about this and the reason why it's so important to, to know what I'm talking about here is because what often happens, they find themselves unemployed like the Hollywood actor. For one reason or another, it doesn't ultimately matter. But they start trying to get rehired in the same industry and end up staying unemployed for years on end. Senior leaders that have a ton of skills that are very valuable to other companies, but because they've limited themselves to just their industry, those amazing talents and knowledge and wisdom are wasted. Holding on to a belief like this will greatly limit us from ever seeing amazing opportunities. Maybe you have thought like this, are thinking like this now. Maybe you're unemployed. This is actually kind of the premise of the very famous Arthur Miller play from 1949 called Death of a Salesman. If you have not seen this, I recommend watching it. Yes, it's from 1949, but it is eerily current. It will uh, disturb you. It plays on the idea that we will all become irrelevant. It's an irrational fear though, based on what I'm sharing with you now. The truth is there is a way to leverage your amazing set of skills that you are using right now as a leader, or if you're unemployed, that you used as a leader in your last leadership role, that is easily transferable to other industries. It just takes honing your focus in on those keywords and dynamics of what companies really truly value. And fundamentally, the reason why we don't kind of see this on our own right now, naturally, 
is because of the idea of a technical track professionally or an operational track professionally. We get stuck into this mindset that we have to have a technical set of skills or we won't be valuable. When, what I'm trying to do now, when we shift our perspective to really focusing on the operational track, we will see all new opportunities. Now I will say there are some senior leadership roles that absolutely require deep technical knowledge. For example, a chief medical officer or a director of software engineering, for example, or owning a dental practice. You're gonna definitely be required by law, at least in America, but I'm sure in all of Europe as well, Eastern Bloc nations as well, you're required by law to keep up a standard set of knowledge in these areas because they're, it's so important. I'm not talking about those. Those are few and far between. What I'm doing is asking you to consider leaving behind the idea of a technical track and really focusing on that operational track. When you do, the leadership skills that you have work great almost everywhere. For example, let me prove this to you. Have you ever known a vice president or a regional director or a CEO that had no industry experience, none? Yes, you have. They're everywhere. How did they do it? They leveraged foundational leadership skills that are valuable across every company. It really is that simple. Skills like how to develop high-performing teams, how to manage costs, how to oversee difficult employees or difficult customers, how to negotiate, advocacy, a willingness to take on opportunities that have a high risk for making you look stupid, that are very difficult roles that just other people don't wanna take on. These are qualities of leadership traits that companies deeply value, regardless of the industry. If you would, take a quick look at my LinkedIn profile. I provide a link below. What you'll see when you get there, if you scroll down to the bottom and start there and then scroll up, I have been in seven different industries, all high-tech industries, without having any, any industry knowledge to jump from one to the other. That's because I focused on the leadership skills that I knew were valuable to the new company. I've been in IT staffing, very complex to try to staff and place high-level technical professionals in very large companies, linear digital video editing, bedside monitoring, building automation systems, health information exchange, two-factor authentication. There's probably a couple more I'm missing in there. And I did it because I knew the language to speak. And I wanna show you how to find out that language right now as well. It is super easy. And this is how you do it. First, set up several indeed.com or LinkedIn job search engines, job search agents is what I call them. It's these automated job search functions at indeed.com, career builder. There are dozens and dozens of these online uh, sites that help you find the job. Create many job search agents that will send you new jobs every day and use a varying array of leadership words in the, in the job titles like senior director, vice president, regional manager, regional VP, regional director, senior executive, uh, CEO, whatever you want. Use those words by themselves in the title, which will return industry agnostic results. Then carefully read through every job that comes to you, no matter what industry, what company, what level in that leadership role, just read the job type, job descriptions. What you're gonna find is that brilliant, beautiful brain that God designed in us has a left hemisphere that is finely tuned to look for patterns. You will very quickly start to see a trend in the job descriptions. And I'm encouraging you, ignore anything that says must have five years of industry experience or must have seven years of related industry experience. Just ignore those, I promise you. For almost every one of those job descriptions, they are not really that important. I know I've written many of these job descriptions over the years. As you start to see these patterns, your brain will also start to make a connection with what skills you have that are like those. It's just that we tend to not be current on the vernacular used for these leadership skills. You're gonna realize you have most of them. 
even though you have zero product knowledge in that industry. Then you're gonna craft your resume to use these keywords that you see woven across all these job descriptions, across all these industries. If you don't currently use my, what I call my $1,500 resume template, it's based on the video that I did about it, the $1,500 resume and imposter syndrome, please watch that. I put it my, I'm putting my email address below, email me and I'll send you the template for free. The entire top half of that template is designed to quickly change out keywords that are industry agnostic, but leadership specific. Words that are very valuable when you possess those skills to every company. And then start applying to these new jobs across all these different industries with faith. Pray that God allows you to find favor in the eyes of the people looking at, at your resume. Then you're gonna get in front of those people and you're gonna win them over with your personality. You're gonna win them over with the fruit of the spirit, which by the way, leadership roles deeply value the fruit of the spirit. And we come prepackaged with them as Christians. The resume will get you the interview, you will get you the job. God will help influence that. Then what I'd love for you to do is use my email below and send me a little story highlighting your experience once you've landed in that new job. I would really love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationear.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.